Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a double eyeshadow tutorial for you using my new Tartlet Tease palette. I picked this up a couple weeks ago. I have been loving it ever since. I did a full review on it last week. If you want to take a look at that, I'll put the link right up here and you can bounce over to that and then come back for the tutorial. So when I did that review, I asked people what kind of a tutorial they would like to see from this palette. And overwhelmingly, it was a simple two color day look and then how to transition that into a more amped up night look. In this double tutorial, you'll be getting one tutorial for this look and a second tutorial to turn it into this look. So this first look is a pretty easy wearable two color look that you can put on and be out the door in five minutes for every day. The first step is to prime the eyelids. My favorite is the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. I just pop that on all over my lid using my finger then using my Beauty Junkies all over shader brush. I'm going to dip that into the color Wink in the lower left hand corner. Load up the brush with a lot of eyeshadow and really pack it on my movable lid and then continue packing it on above the crease almost up to the eyebrow but leaving a little space between the top of this eyeshadow and the eyebrow and that will be our natural brow highlight. So you can go ahead and dip back into Wink and keep packing it on until you get the color payout that you're looking for. Next, I'm going to use my MAC 221 brush. I'm going to dip just the tip of it into the color next to Wink, which is First Kiss. This has a slight satin finish to it. It's not glittery or sparkly by any means, so you can use it in the crease and above the crease. I'm basically going to take that and apply that at the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to start in my natural crease and draw it down and at an angle towards the center of my eye. Apply more of that in the deepest part of the crease all the way across from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to keep that really low and into the crease since this is a day look. I'm not going to spread it too high above the crease. I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to blend those two colors together. This should be really smooth, really natural looking for a day look. For the eyeliner today, I'm going to do a push brush technique using the eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies Pro Brow Brush and I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray, spritz it into a bowl. I'm going to dip my brush into the setting spray, then blot it off on a tissue and then dip it into the eyeshadow. That makes a great long lasting eyeliner that's very subtle for the day. So I'm just going to take that and press it at the base of my upper eyelashes all the way across my lid from the inner corner to the outer corner. Since this is a day look, I'm not really going to go for a wing or a little kitten flick out there. Then I'm going to just take whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to just run it from the outer corner of my eye along the lower lash line about to the middle of my eye. And then I just use my finger to kind of smudge that out and smudge the top line a little bit. All right, since this is a simple daytime look, I'm going to use a mascara that gives us not the hugest amount of volume, but just really nice natural looking lashes. And that is my Lancome Definisils Mascara. I'm just going to apply one coat of that and then the eyeshadow is done. And here is the finished day look. All right, so that was easy and quick, and now it's time to take that eyeshadow look. It's later in the day, we're going out on the town, and it's time to turn it into this look. So let's get started with the second tutorial. First, I'm going to define my brow highlight by using my Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer brush and dipping it into the lightest shade in the palette, and that is Whisper. I'm just going to take that and run it right underneath my eyebrow to create a more defined brow highlight. Next, I'm going to use my MAC 221 brush again and the color First Kiss and run it pretty much where I put it on for the day look, except I'm going to go a little bit wider now with my color. So I'm going to bring it down onto the lid a little further, maybe a third to a halfway across the movable lid. I'm going to go up a little bit higher towards that brow highlight color. Next, to darken up the outer corner, I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies Pro Pencil Brush and BFF. I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it at the outer corner of my eyelid, going in a third of the way on the movable lid. And then I'm going to ever so lightly bring it up into the crease and draw a little bit of it across in the crease using my eyeball as a guide. Then I'm just going to flick it up at the outer corner to make sure that I lift up the outer corner of my eye. 
You'll notice that I'm using the palette as a guide here. I'm actually pressing that against my skin to make sure that I don't get any fallout on my makeup since I'm not starting from scratch with makeup. And I'm going to use that little dish of setting spray again and my Japanese 213 brush. I'm going to dip the brush into the setting spray, blot it off on a tissue, and then dip it into the shimmery color in here that is called Crush. And then I'm going to put that all over my movable lid from the inner corner to the outer third. I'm not going to go all the way across with that. I'm going to make sure I bring it up high past my natural crease and follow the curve of my eyeball. After that we're going to blend everything together using the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush. Blend that until you get a nice smooth effect. Next I'm going to take my Beauty Junkies Pro Pencil Brush and the color Crush and I'm just going to run that along underneath my lower lashes all along my lower lid. Then to amp the look up for night, I'm going to switch out from using eyeshadow as liner to using a nice liquid liner. In this case, I'm using Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen in black. You can make as big or as little a wing as you want. If you're older, you might just want to dot that along. Or if you have trouble using liquid liner, you might just want to use a black pencil so that you can smudge that out. Then I'm going to go back to the Lancome Definisils Mascara and I'm going to do one coat on my lower lashes. And then I'm going to bring in the big guns, the Lancome Hypnose Drama, and I'm going to put another coat of mascara on my upper lashes. If you prefer false lashes, you can put them on now. And then just to frame out the face a little more, I'm going to add a little tinted brow gel. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Granite. Alright, then before you go out, you always have to check all your makeup in your 15x mirror, correct any mistakes that you may have made, dust off any fallout, and the eyeshadow look is complete, and you're ready to go out for the evening. And here's the side-by-side -side of the day look right next to the evening look. I think it speaks volumes about the versatility of this little palette that you can get two such diverse looks out of it, a simple day look, a really amped up evening look, and there's a lot of looks in between that you can get. It's very petite, it's very convenient to just throw in your bag and take along with you, and you can use it in so many great ways, like this little trick, that you just can't do with a big palette. So all in all, I am loving this little palette. I think these two looks came out great, and I am ready to go out this evening. So I hope you are too now, and I hope that whatever you do in tonight, that you have a great time. Thanks everybody, as always, for spending a little bit of time with me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this. So take care everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.